You see my little gel pouches? I'm about to take these off. Um, it's uh, self care Thursday, so this is my little extra piece of loving I'm giving myself. I made myself breakfast. I am surrounded by laundry and responsibilities. <laughs> I have therapy today, which I need. <clears throat> but right now, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna put up some content on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And wait for our assistant to get here for me to go over some stuff. Gotta handle some stuff with Mama Likes, with some merch shipments, some emails. Amar's here, y'all can hear him coughing in the background. So we kept him home from school. <sighs> the day has just begun and I'm already a little exhausted. But that's all right, I know I'll get another burst of energy. And I'm gonna get these responsibilities taken care of. That chick angel. Mars gonna put some lip gloss on his mommy. Okay. You did such a good job. Is that the most? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because then what I do is, look at me. I go like this. Oh. And that moves it all around so it's on my lips. Okay. <coughs> good job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, editing. I'm going to take a shower. And these are about to come out today. So happy. What's up? So I am about to go into Crate and Barrel. I don't even know if I've talked to y'all today. If I haven't, I hope y'all having a blessed and marvelous and a prosperous Friday. I did some editing today. I um, booked my hotel. I'm going to Atlanta um, next week. Uh, what else did I do? Put up clothes. So productive day. Um, I'm going into Crate and Barrel because there was something I ordered and never picked up. So they probably even sent it back. It's gone. I don't know. But I'm going to see if it's on the clearance shelf so I can just buy it now. Because they refunded me, I do believe. So hopefully it's here. So now I'm in a restaurant called Joey's where I'm going to be meeting some of the moms from my son's school. You know the blemishes on my face. This is pissing me off. Anyway. Our kids, the ninth grade mamas, our kids went on a surfing trip, like a camp for surfing. It's the bougiest thing I've ever heard of. Anyways, they get back today at four. So we're meeting up for cocktails. We're gonna head over to the school at four o'clock to pick up our children. It's a good time. It's a good time. Good morning, y'all. I am running terribly late to the Delta chapter meeting. <laughs> But we're gonna praise God that I'm even going to one because it's been years. Um, so I was supposed to be in here 30 minutes ago, but I'm gonna head in here now. Couldn't find some of the stuff I needed. My short is my skirt is too short, but we're here. We're here. Oh, so I am back home from chapter meeting. My hair's all over my head. I'm gonna twist it soon. Don't eat eat a fruit cup. They're in the bag. This, this boy, he just came down to visit us. He's been working on homework. Some Spanish. Cause he's, uh, are you fluent yet? No, no, no. He's close. You don't like the, the oranges? You do too like the oranges. Huh? Well, we're about to cook. If y'all don't calm down, these, the, the twins, put the thing. Y'all about to help me cook because y'all getting on my nerves. We're about to cook some Hello Fresh. They better chill out. So this is what we cooked. This is the nacho one. 
And this is the sun-dried tomato one. And I actually did get help from all of my boys. It was a lot to wrangle them, but we did do it. And I think these are all gonna taste amazing. I'm gonna remind y'all what they're supposed to look like. This is a picture of the one. And this is the picture of the other. They did that. I'm very proud of them. They pulled that off pristinely. Oh, I had to. Hi, so my so my grandma <laughs> came to visit me. <laughs> and she's been acting I... about high school and everything. Mm -hmm. Tell them what we've been talking about. Um, he I... knows how to vlog. I don't know why he's playing. He watches YouTube all day. Go ahead. Mama Joe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, stop. Take this back out there and go get the other one. I'm about to take this computer right on the other one. Um, so she talked to me about uh, high school and how that's been. And oh, did I tell you about my uh, camp trip? No, you didn't tell me about your camp trip. What so, happened? When did you go on a camp trip? That that was that was why I wasn't at school for last week. Oh, most okay. Of last week. And where'd you go camping? Uh, I went to a place called Camp Surf. Camp Surf? Mm -hmm, like, it's near. Like really close to Mexico, and also, um, how did you, I mean me, close to Mexico? Did y'all go on the bus? Or did yeah, I went on the bus. He went oh. down to yeah to San Diego, and for some reason the camp is near a military base, so they have to like rent it out. Uh huh. And been doing that for like fifty years. So, oh my god, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. What, did you all sleep outside or sleep in uh, cabins we, or what? Yeah, we slept in cabins. Cabins. How many in one cabin? There were about, in my cabin, I think there was like 14 people. Four? Oh. So how many people went? Uh, Do you have any idea? The ninth grade class? Not the whole ninth grade class, but... Was it more than 50? Yeah. Oh my, how many um, chaperones or teachers or whatever they call them? Like six, seven, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. And it was not... Um, the girls slept in one, the boys slept in you all slept, uh, was it co-ed? Was it co, what you call it, co? Co-ed, co -ed. was it co-ed or just males in one place and females? Males in one place, females in one another. Oh, okay, I also make sure. So you, so you good, right? You didn't mm -hmm. get kissed while you were there, nothing, right? No. No kissing and stuff, okay. Did you have you fun? Yeah. No. You told me you were, that's what you told me. No, I did not say that. You said, don't tell, oh yeah, yeah. Close the door. Oh! Uh, uh. So you wait a minute. Kissing. No. no, no kissing. No okay, kissing. all right. No. Okay. Man up. It's all right, Marcus. Ah, <laughs> uh, so did you have a good time though? Mm -hmm. So what was the first day like when y'all first got there, y'all? Were you tired and sleepy from the ride, or you all? No, because we ate and slept in the bus. Okay. But we ate and like played like a few games. Okay. And they put herself into the cab and I, I'm, not, I'm not fully sure what we all did that first day. Okay. So it was like really quick. Uh huh. But we did a few stuff. Well, did y'all just go sightseeing through the woods or did y'all go into town? Or that well, the thing is, it was on a beach. So. Oh, it was on a beach. Who does a, a beach? Okay, yeah. I thought it was woods. So you all didn't have to go in the woods and make a fire and. Oh, did y'all eat marshmallows and, and um, the Hershey? The thing is, they had like this like weird thing with like a, a, like a, a taco wrap. A taco and wrap? The, and, like, with, like, I'm not sure what it, what they call it. But well, did you eat it? I ate it. I didn't like it. You though. didn't like it though. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. All right. Okay. So did you, did you take your own food or food was provided for you all there? Food was provided. So if you stay there for multiple days. Oh, so you all drove to San Diego, mm -hmm. and then from San Diego, so is San Diego close to Mexico? Yes. Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, let me tell you this. Your parents have never taken me to Mexico. Because we want you to stay alive. Oh, okay. And I, I want to go on a trip with your parents you in, when uh, they... Vegas, let alone but, Mexico. But I, but I want them to take me to where... I remember they said a friend they took and they say you're not supposed to look at the people or something. Yeah, them, them trips is over. She, oh, okay. Well, I guess the I won't Mexican be going to those. The who? Exactly. Okay, I don't want to go to Mexico. <laughs> I'll stay back. Okay, oh, wait, show them what okay. uh, your dad uh, And my dad. <laughs> I'm uh, putting these lights on the <laughs> twins' bikes. Um, 
So, I don't know, you put for a kid's bike. I don't know why you want this, because it means you got to ride it at night. But anyway, we're going to put them on there and do some twilight dry riding. Eventually, it'll be dark early. Yeah, I mean, it's fine right now on the weekend. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we I might get some footage of them riding on my outside real quick after I do dope. this. It is dope. It is so dope. It is dope. Once he puts it on, we'll show y'all what it looks like. Bye. All right, y'all, so we out here. We in the streets, we got it lit up. There's one. There's the other one. But yeah, out here. They out here, y'all. Nobody's safe. Being reckless. It's like a biker gang. I thought one of them just wrecked. Uh, yeah, it's actually kind of neat. They wanted them to where they stay on all the time and not flash. I'm about to get something for my bike. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Hello. I, wait, what are you making right now again? They're called beignets. I got the batter from Cafe Du Monde. Du Monde. Cafe Du Monde. I don't know how to say it. It is a cafe in New Orleans. You know, beignets are something that most people know about if you've been to New Orleans. This is not something that is easily found. Even though there are like beignet trucks out here, it's not an easily found pastry. All it is is fried dough with some, um, what you call it, with some powdered sugar on it. And I bought this a little while ago and I didn't want to go bad, so I said, I'll make it this beautiful Sunday morning. So my son Marcus has been helping me with it. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to keep the flower. Okay, you can stop touching all of them, Kai. Amara, let me stand right here, all right? You be able to sit be over here, all right? Um, so I had the oil was really high, so I turned it down some. Let's see what happens. We're gonna drop the first big one. It's not shaped like a square like it's supposed to, but we're here. Carefully. Okay, hold on, boo boo. Let's see. It should come to the surface in a matter of seconds. So we did it halfway right. Yep. It works so quick. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to hold on. I'm on. I have this little spoon I use. You have to be careful. I don't want it to splash on you. Flip it. So they cook really quickly. This does not look like a beignet should look. This looks more like a red lobster cheddar biscuit, but you know what? I'm just a black girl from Baltimore, raised in Kentucky. I don't expect to be an expert. The fact that, that I'm gonna let you tell them something, boo boo. Sai so wants to tell you something, but let me, let's see how this looks when I take it out. Hey, move. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not exactly right, but it looks nice. We're going to put powdered sugar on it. Let's drop a bunch more. Okay, so side, go tell the ball what you want to tell me. Right, hold on. Come, come. We can see that again, side, since I don't think, I think that was cut off. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right. It took me a while to find y'all. Mm -hmm. If y'all aren't seen, she's silly. Y'all seen how much y'all seen me up until like last week. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all something real quick. The very first tool I bought, one of the first tools I bought uh, when I first became an electrician, this Greenlee is a voltmeter. Um, use this a lot. Anyway, what I'm doing today is I'm our GFI plug is bad, it just keeps tripping. Going off, so I went, I went and got another one like as soon as I reset. 
turns on and what's staying on right now earlier it kept uh tripping off like after like 10 seconds and it's probably old so i went and got another one anyway as i'm doing those replacing that i'm gonna also install some uh these are plugs that have a usb and a usb c on it so i'm gonna put i got three of them so i'm just gonna put them in random spots Tell all that to tell y'all that this tool, one of the first tools I bought when I became an electrician, the batteries finally went dead. <laughs> uh, I went to turn it on. I was like, it's the first time I've ever turned it on and it didn't work. And uh, yeah, here's the battery that was in it, or it's two of these, two AAA batteries. Just chained them for the first time today. 2001, 2002, since I went, when I bought this. Anyway, you can see how much it's being used. It used to be pretty in green. That's looks like this, but. That's what I'm doing right now. And I also went and bought some more shelves so we can organize the garage a little better. Wall shelves, not the ceiling kind, but the wall ones. Anyway, uh, that's all we got going on. I'm about to do this real quick and get to it. So it's hair washing day. And I am cutting my hair. I'm trimming it. I'm taking the plunge and doing it. Do I fully know what I'm doing? No, but am I doing it anyway? Yeah. So basically all the color will pretty much be cut out. For the most part. That's about how much I'm cutting off. About an inch and a half. You know, and being that I don't really wear my hair straight, I'll never really see how bad it is. I'm just getting these raggedy ends off. Um, I'm sure more of my hair is actually chewed up. But listen, we're just trying to make it do something. And I'm not too mad at what I'm doing thus far. You know, like, there's still a lot of length right there. So, uh, we're watching a movie called After Party. Tiffany Haddish, a bunch of other folk. Um, it's been all right. But yeah, you can I can already see how much better it is just by how much my hair is coiling up. But yeah, this might all be terrible in the end, but we're here. So I'll try to show y'all at the end. Basically, go, let me show y'all. Basically what I'm doing is, my mom's here, that's what you hear in the background. I am Sorry. taking you not, not too big of a section like oh. this. Then I am Sorry. securing the rest of the hair away from it. I'm putting in a little of my Cantu weave-in conditioner. I know a lot of y'all hate it. Works well for me to get my ends to come together. I'm using some of Tab's strength hair oil. I can't use it on my scalp though. I, I can't use it on my scalp. Um, my scalp just don't be like it. That's enough. Anything other than olive oil. It looks like one piece of you. So I'm um, detangling. That's not one piece of ice. Come on. Just one piece. One piece. And getting all the hair to be kind of uniform if necessary. I do my little small tooth comb. Where you push the So you see how. Some of these ends just look trash. So, hold it together, flip down, boom. That's it. And then I twist it up. If I was wearing my hair straight all the time, this would be disastrous, but I haven't worn my hair straight in forever. So again, I'll show y'all boys stop. I'll show y'all what it looks like in the Y'all have stuff stuff on the steps that I want y'all to take upstairs that y'all just have been ignoring. Your wallet, this book. Both of y'all go ahead. And then on the top, on the other step is stuff for Amar. Y'all can put that in his room. So yeah. We're getting it done. We'll be having a blessed Sunday. Okay, so. I trimmed it all. This is the hair I trimmed. I cut off about, like I said, about an inch and a half from each one of these little chunks. They look so healthy. I was gonna do my little dryer thing, but 
I think I might just leave it alone. See what happens tomorrow. And then, yeah, just see. But I love it. I love how healthy it looks. I got the wrong wine glass. I just do feel like getting another one. This boy. Can you say hi? Hi. Say how you doing? I'm doing. He just went through it because he didn't want to say it to his aunt. I don't know what's up with this boy. Mm. Struggling. I'll struggle off camera. <laughs>